Hello, welcome to Soil Study Circle. Today, my topic is income tax for final year become, uh, which is uh, applies for all the universities in India. So, I am teaching income tax. In income tax, we have so many topics. Uh, today's topic is uh, uh, retirement benefits. What is retirement benefit? See, the employee, if he works for a month or a year, he will get salary because he worked for he rendered the services and the employer paid for the paid for it. That is a reward for him. But here, once if the employee get retired from the service, see, he will get certain benefits. So what are the such benefits he will get? Is the first one is the gratuity. What is gratuity? See, gratuity is something which is given by the employer to employee with gratitude for his long term and meritorious services which he has rendered. So meritorious services means he has done a good job for so many years and he will get gratuity. So that is gratuity will be paid at the time of the retirement, not before the retirement day, not during the service. See, when you want to learn gratuity, computation of gratuity, that is a taxable portion of gratuity, the employees are divided into three categories. One is government employee. The other one is the employee who covered under Gratuity Act of 1972. And the third one is the other employees. Other employees in the sense who are not covered under the Gratuity Act of 1972. Now, let us understand the tax implication or tax applicability on this gratuity for these different employees. The first one is government employees. See, government employees, any amount of gratuity which is received by the government employee, which is completely exempted, which is completely tax free because they are serving for the public, thereby it is exempted from tax. But we have two more things out there. In case of a, a non-government employees, the employees who are not working in government sector. So for them, there are two classifications. One is employees who covered under the Gratuity Act of 1972. And the second one is the employees who are not covered under the Gratuity Act of 1972. Now, let us look at the rules. What the rule says as per the Income Tax Act of 1961. Now, let us see if... Uh, if they are non-government employees, non-government employees, if non-government employee who covered under Gratuity Act, covered under Gratuity Act of 1972, here not covered under not covered under Gratuity Act of 1972. See, I repeat again, there are three types of calculation or computation of gratuity. One is a government employee who is, uh, uh, whatever the amount of gratuity he receives, it is exempted. In case of non-government employee, there are two classification, employee who covered under Gratuity Act, who is not covered under Gratuity Act. Now, let us look at the rules, what it says. See, the rule says, what is the amount of actual amount of gratuity received? Actual amount of gratuity received. We will take it here. See, actually the Gratuity Act is partly exempted and partly taxable under section 10, subsection 10. Under section 10, subsection 10. Now, in this act rules, first uh, we take actual gratuity received Whatever the amount is there, we will write it here. In this, we will deduct less exempted under section 10, subsection 10. How much amount of uh, gratuity is exempted in case of gratuity covered under the Act 1972? See, there are three items are there. Exempted under section 10, subsection 3, subsection 10 is least, least of the following, least of the following. Now, let us see what is the first least amount is, what is the actual gratuity amount received? The same amount, the same amount, we are going to write it here. Actual gratuity amount received by the employee. 
the second one is maximum limit see the maximum limit is 20 lakhs maximum limit is 20 lakhs till the last previous year the maximum limit was 10 lakhs in this previous year it is increased to 20 lakhs the third one is we take average salary or salary lost drawn salary lost drawn into 15 by 26 see into number of years of service guys very simple i'll explain to you what is this you understood what is actually gratuity what what is the actual gratuity received because whatever the amount of gratuity received from the employer that is an actual gratuity received maximum limit 20 lakhs this will be fixed for all the problems and the third limit is salary lost drawn into 15 by 26 into number of years of service what is this salary lost drawn say for example if he retired before 31st march of 2018 whichever the month is taking the salary that is called as a loss salary lost drawn suppose if he has drawn salary in the month of march 2018 like 30000 rupees that amount will take it as a salary what is this 15 by 26 see in a month 30 days will be there for the purpose of calculation of gratuity under covered under uh, act of 1972 we take 15 by 26 because living for sundays living for sundays one minute so 15 by 26 is nothing but living for sundays in a month so we call it as an average salary of loss drawn into number of years of service we can put it even like that also i'll repeat average i mean average salary of salary loss drawn into number of years of service but i put it this word average salary of loss average salary of salary loss drawn i'm putting it like this so number of years of service okay now out of these three amounts whichever is least whichever is least we will going to deduct from the actual gratuity received from this we will deduct it this is minus this will be the taxable amount of gratuity i hope all of you understood see this is actually covered under gratuity act of 1972 now let us look at the rules for not covered under gratuity act of 1972 here also same will write actual gratuity received actual gratuity received less least is exempted least is exempted under section 10 under section 10 subsection 10 same points first one is actual gratuity received what is this actual gratuity received second one is same amount maximum limit will be 20 lakhs and the third one differs here what is the third one we take 15 by 30 here we have taken 15 by 26 here we have taken 15 by 30 See, 15 by 30 can be written as 1 by 2 also because 15 ones are 15 twos are. So that means I will write it as instead of writing 15 by 30, I will write 1 by 2, okay, into average salary of average salary of 10 months, average salary of 10 months into number of years of service. Okay, guys, I repeat again, half 1 by 2, that is average salary of, so half month, average salary of 10 months into number of years of service, very simple. Here we take 15 by 26, here we take 1 by 2. Here we take salary lost drawn, means March 2018, if he retired, whatever the salary he was drawing on March 2018, that amount we will take it. But here we take 
the retirement date previously how many months he worked we total we take the total of 10 months salary and we take the average of 10 months salary that i will show you when i will start working on the problem into number of years of service okay now let us look at what is the difference between covered and not covered I, simply i will tell you now before that let me tell you what is the meaning of salary yeah? see both the sides we have salary see salary means here we have basic salary plus da or dms pay basic salary da dms pay but in case of not covered in case of not covered this is a taxable gratuity i'm sorry in case of not covered what is the meaning of salary say salary is nothing but basic salary plus dns allowance it should enters into retirement benefit this is a, a very important point see in case of not covered the dns allowance should be enters into retirement benefit dns allowance should take into calculation of retirement benefit then only we will take it and one more is there that's called as a commission see what type of commission we have to take it here is percentage on sales made by the employee if the employee has made any sales and if the employer has paid any commission on such sales only such commission has to be taken but not profit commission that is commission on profit it should be commission on sales or turnover so this is the meaning of salary for the purpose of covered under gratuity for the purpose of not covered under gratuity okay now we understood the rules in a proper way now let us try to work out a question a problem see this problem is asked in the year 2017 question paper for bangalore university for 6 marks see if you remember this formula if you remember this format you can do it within 2 minutes and you will get 6 marks within 2 minutes but we should read the question carefully then we can give the answer for this question and i will read out the question my dear students please duly read the question properly line by line word by word because in income tax the most important is we have to read the question in a proper way now let's see mr veeresh retired on 31st of march 2018 after serving in a company for 32 years and 10 months now here retirement years is very important he served for 32 years and 10 months means more than 6 months that is 32 years and more than 6 months see i will tell you in case of covered in case of covered under gratuity act we take 32 plus more than 6 months as 33 years 32 years if it is more than 6 months in case of covered we take 33 years in in calculation of number of years of service in case of not covered even though he worked for more than 6 months here 10 months he worked we ignore this 10 months for the purpose of not covered all of you understood let us read come continue he received rupees 178000 as gratuity see actual gratuity received is 1 lakh 78000 and his average monthly salary in immediate preceding 10 months preceding 10 months means before he retires he was getting 28000 rupees as a salary what type of salary it is average monthly salary he himself is given the average salary there is no need to calculate the average salary in this question and what is to be com computed compute is taxable gratuity for the assessment year 2018 and 19 if the assessment year is 2018 19 definitely our previous year will be 2017 and 18 see this guy is retired exactly on the last day of our previous year that is on 31st march 2018 then we need to calculate taxable amount of gratuity and how much he get exempted and specially is asking compute gratuity taxable gratuity which is not covered 
So now there is no need to work on this particular format. We need to work out on this format. Now let us see how to work on this format. Now I will rub this uh, you know, imaginary figures over here. Yeah? Now what is to be done? I'll tell you. Actual gratuity. What is the actual gratuity amount received is 1,78,000. Am I right? Now, least of the following is exempted under section 10, subsection 10. Now, again, when you read the rules, again we should take the actual gratuity. Actual gratuity is 1,78,000. And the maximum limit will be remain same as 20 lakhs. I will write in numbers. Okay. Now, the third point is very important. 1 by 2 into average salary of 10 months. See, he himself is given average monthly salary immediately preceding 10 months was 28,000. Now, I'll write 28,000 into 1 by 2 into number of years of service. See, he, that also is given. See, he served for 32 years and 10 months. But I told you, in case of not covered, Employees who is not covered under Gratuity Act, definitely we should consider only 32 years and the fraction of months which he worked, we should ignore it. We should ignore it. Now, how many months will take? We'll take only 32 years. So, 32 years. Now, if you calculate, very simple, if you want, without calculator, we can do it. Without calculator, we can do it. So, let us find out how to calculate this. See, very simple, 28,000 to 1 by 2 into 32. So, 1 by 2 of this is 14,000, right? 32. See, instead of 32, you can take into 10, into 10, into 10. It becomes 1 lakh 40, 1 lakh 40, 1 lakh 40. So, totally 4 threes are 12, 1 carries 4 lakh 42,000. So, 4 lakh uh, 12 1 carries 4 lakh 20,000 and into 2 if you do 28,000 it becomes how much 4 lakh 48,000 that means we will take it here as 4 lakh 48,000 now guys you only tell me which is the least of these three numbers is it 1 lakh 78 is it 20 lakhs or is it 4 lakh 48 definitely 1 lakh 78,000 now the least of exempted under section 10 subsection 10 the least of the amount is which one 1 lakh 78000 now actual amount of gratuity received is 1 lakh 78 and exemption limit is also 1 lakh 78 so now the calculation or taxable amount of gratuity taxable amount of gratuity is nil so very quite simple so what i am trying to tell you is we should make a proper sense in understanding this particular rules if you forget the rules definitely you cannot be able to do it so i request you please perfect in this and read perfectly now i want to change this question i want to do this question if it is if it is not covered gratuity act how we have seen now i will show you if it is covered under gratuity act of 1972 how to work on this question Okay, let us see. I will rub all these, uh, you know, imaginary figures. We will calculate. Okay. Now, actual gratuity received is same 1,78,000. Now, we are working on covered and the gratuity act. And actual amount is 1,78,000. What is the maximum limit? 20 lakhs. Now, where we will stuck on? Third point. What is the third point? He is saying, Salary loss done. Let us assume that 28,000 is the salary loss one. 28,000 is the salary loss one. 15 by 26 in the rules it is there. We will take it. But here one small change here is number of years of service. See in case of not covered the fraction of months we have ignored it here. We have taken only 32. But in case of covered under gratuity act if the employee is working more than six months as a fraction months then that more than six months we can convert it into year here 32 years and 10 months more than six months so we can consider it as a 33 years 
Now, if 28,000 into 15 by 26 into 33, it will come to 5,33,076 approximately. Okay. Approximately, we can take it as 5,33,076 or we can take it as a 77. Now, if you check with here, which is the least of these three items under section 10, subsection 10, 178 to 20 lakhs and 5 lakhs. Definitely it will be 1,78,000 only and taxable gratuity again it is showing nilia. So I hope all of you understood. See I made it, uh, they asked only one question, I have shown you calculation both if the employee covered and not covered. So my dear guys, if you understood my way of teaching, please subscribe my channel. Sai study circle and share all my videos to your friends and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you